It's your favorite girls, Marissa. Tyrian. And on this show, we're going to air out valuable advice. We're going to tell stories and talk about our experiences here on, on Alcorn State's campus. So first off, we're going to talk about ourselves a little bit. So, okay, hey guys. My name is Tyrian Carson, a junior mass communications major from Canton, Mississippi. Um, um, I'm a dancer. And I think that's about it. That's all I can say. So y'all, my name is Marissa. I'm a junior mass communications major. Um, I'm from a small town, Minnesota, Mississippi. We only got one traffic light, so I had to get up out of there. <laughs> and so that's just a little bit about me. So on today's show, we're going to talk about friendship and friendship in college. We believe this is an important conversation, an yes. important topic, because yes. friendships help your college experience become more memorable and yeah. like you, you learn lessons about your friends. Right. So let's it's get into it. So hey friends. Hey friends. So friendships in college, like what's your definition of friendships in college? My, My definition, definition of a friend or specifically a friendship in college or a friend in college mm -hmm. is someone that I know I can go to right. when I feel like I have nobody else mm -hmm. or to have that support where I'm feeling overwhelmed, mm -hmm. or I just feel like I'm just by myself. Right. So luckily, going into college, I had a couple of people from my hometown that came with me. Mm -hmm. So that helped me have like a close-knit circle. Right. And I can honestly say having them in college with me has helped my experience a whole lot. Mm -hmm. What do you think is a friend? A friend in college is someone I can call in the middle of the night when I need help, like somebody that I can vent to without having to, you know, like make it seem like I'm like trying to cling on to them or something. Like you understand where I'm coming from. Like it's you and me. We we here. We like we understand each other. And like me being, I came I came all come by myself. Like. I was the only person from my own hometown from my graduating class in 21 that came to Alcorn, so I was by myself. And the weird thing about it is, I literally cut off all my friends before I came to school. Like I did like a whole oh, wow. out because I had like I don't know if it was the, the mental state I was in before coming to Alcorn. Like I had got super depressed, and I was like, you know what? No friends. Like I did a clean slate. So luckily. You know, during the summer and stuff, we, you know how they did the little yeah. Alcorn Brave page and stuff? Yep. I yeah. met a lot of people and, like, we clicked. And, and some, some people stayed and some, some people, you know, they drifted, drifted away. I knew they, we you know, we weren't going to be friends or nothing. But, yeah, yeah I just feel like, uh, I feel like college friends are friends that, you know, are like, like they lifelong. They last forever. Definitely lifetime friends, yes. lifelong friends. I can say being in college, you do meet genuine people. You do. But you separate like people that are genuine, they're like your associates mm -hmm. and people that you know are gonna be your lifelong right. friends. And I'm not gonna say like there's no genuine people here. Mm -hmm. But like first off, like your freshman year, them people that you're friends with, you're they're not gonna be your friends come <laughs> your no. your junior, <laughs> senior year. I'm gonna be honest. Right. Them friends, the people you start a group chat with, mm -hmm. they are not gonna we, be I, and I was in so many group chats. None of I don't hang with none of them girls anymore. Like it stopped like the first week of school. Really? Yes. No. Like no type of click. Like we didn't click at all. I can say having a friend though in college, because mm -hmm. there's so many mental battles that you it go is. through. It's that it's like, like you really be going through depression. depression. You do sometimes. Well, well I, I can I can speak for myself. I can't speak for everybody on all kinds right. of things. But you're gonna feel like you're by yourself, whether it's like with classes or just like personal things that you're going through. Mm -hmm. Because being around different type of people and being in a different element, especially when you coming from a small town like I did, right. you're still learning who you are mm -hmm. or try to figure out who you are. So you're gonna surround yourself with people who you think mm -hmm. that you're gonna connect with or just gonna click to you. Right. And then when you think back or like I can think back to people I was cool with like my freshman year mm -hmm. those are not the type of people that I need in my life not saying that they're bad people right. but our vibes just don't mesh That's or awesome. like our our moral minds like mm -hmm. it, it don't click right they're on the type of stuff that I'm not on mm -hmm. And I think that's like one of the main reasons why I have very few friends in Alcorn because my, the type of person that I am, I'm a, I'm a go-getter. Like, I want everything in life. I want to be successful. I want to be rich. Like, the type of friends, like, around here, I don't, like, I met you. 
we we, we, we on the same page. We know we want to. We know we doing. We going up in life. Some, Some people, people ain't got nothing going for themselves, and I be looking at them like, like what are y'all doing? doing? I cannot. I want to hang around. Like, see me at the table with the people who you know who going who going to get something for themselves. Most self. definitely. And I do advise people to start being friends with people that are in your department. That's yes. how I met you. And because these are people that you're going to have classes with throughout your whole college career. Exactly. And honestly, I did not think I was going to click with nobody my freshman year. <laughs> Coming into, like, in the classroom, like, I'm going to be by myself. I'm going to stick right. by myself. I'm going in like my mama told me. Go get your education. Mm -hmm. Get up out of there. But just going in and getting your education, just sitting down, being quiet, right. you're not really gaining the college experience. Mm -hmm. And that's another reason why friends come into play. Mm -hmm. I can say, like, you have somebody you can go out to party with, right. homecoming with. Like, having friends for homecoming, that is top need. Right. <laughs> or the, just to go anywhere mm -hmm. with, just to have that support, like I said. But I don't know. It's just something about having friends in your department. It's just like, hey, friends. Right. Like, you, we, we always there, there like, we there, there with each other, other, so we understand. Most, Most definitely. definitely. Okay. okay, so... Has it been easy for you to find friends in Alcorn or at Alcorn's campus? It really has. Like, like I, don't I don't know. know. I, I guess like I just attract people. people. Like, like people really love, love me. me. I'm not like, like I'm not trying to be arrogant or nothing, but I attract, I attract people, people and like I have a lot of friends here. here. Okay, would you call them your friends or would you call them associates? How do you I wanna, separate okay. your associates? Like who I can just like I'm at a party with, I'll be like, Oh hey, that's my girl no. or to like your my friend. friends. I'm going to tell you like this. My, my friends, friends are the people, people that you see me going in the cab with, with, that you see me at the parties with, you see me running around school with them in their cars, stuff like, like that. that. Those are my friends. My associates are people that you just see me walking by, hey, how you doing? We chatted a little bit. We we'll go our separate ways. So what makes them not your friend? Like how, why can't they be your like, close knit? It's like sometimes, I don't know if people just don't be wanting to connect or what. Like my trust, I have really bad trust issues. That's one. And you know how this campus is. It's so much going on that it's like, I don't know if I can trust you or not. Like, I don't know if I want to call you my friend because you you might, you know, you might snake me. I don't know. Like, it's just something. Yeah, I can't, I can't click with a lot of people. One thing my mama told me going into college, you have to realize everybody is not raised how you were raised. Right. And so that's kind of helped me separate people knowing their true intention mm -hmm. to see if they're genuine people right and how our mindsets click mm -hmm. and i do believe like you know vibes do in like energy mm -hmm. do connect to people i do believe in that like negative energy like you can just sense in right. a person but i don't know meeting people wise i say all corn is like definitely like a mm -hmm. family definitely. like environment like exactly. it feels like i got like cousins out no, here. No, I do have cousins. Too no, many I ain't got no cousins out here for real. I got too many cousins. But it's like family. But right. you definitely can tell like who has true intentions mm -hmm. of being your friend or how you how you value them. I say you know your true friend is like when you go to part like party. Right. Cause if you you're not my friend, mm -hmm. if you can leave me if we came there together, we should definitely leave, leave together. together. If I'm like say if I'm like wasted or something if I fall or something, you're not my friend if you're just going to leave me here. I'm not in my right mind. I'm not in my right state of mind. You're just going to leave me right here? No, you're not my friend. No. You're not going to help me when I get into an argument with somebody and stuff like that. You're not my friend. So I, it, it be days where I wake up and, like, sometimes I be like, yeah, she ain't my friend for real, for real. And, like, I just keep my distance, whatever. Okay. So my next question is, like, do you believe that these people that we're with, like, you know these people going to be your lifelong friends? Or how can you tell? Or, like, I feel like they are because of, like, how we connected when we first met. Like, it was just, like, an instant connection with us. And I feel like they are going to be lifelong friends. Some of them may not be because of where we're going in life. You know, we might separate each other. We might not ever see each other again. But I hope they are lifelong friends. I really do. I'm not sure though, but I hope. I think. I think when my people that I call, I don't even call them my friends for real. Yeah, I, call my, I call them sisters. my sisters because mm -hmm. we've been through situations mm -hmm. together, or they've seen things happen in my personal life where they lifted me up in a space right. where I'm like, oh my god, like mm -hmm. these people 
these are my lifelong these are like my soulmates yeah. in a way. <laughs> and I feel like if I can cry in front of you or no, if you can see me <laughs> no if real. you if you can see me cry, if you see me at my lowest moments yes. crying, you're definitely a true friend to me. And if yes. I can if I know I can vent to mm-hmm. you and it don't leave out that room, mm-hmm. most definitely yes. you're my lifelong soulmate. I ain't even gonna call it like that. I love having friends where we can like just come together and have like those little deep moments. It's like a heart like, to heart. Like. Yes, and like I be feeling like I don't know if I be feel, we be feeling like grown ups or something because we can actually sit down right here and talk our stuff out without you know ever like getting to the point where you know we getting mad at each other, we beefing and stuff like that. We can talk our stuff out instead. That's of friends. definitely how you can tell if it's a true friend because yes. you know some people. I feel like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real. Mm-hmm. If you can run to social media before you can come to me about our problems, we, friends. we can't be we friends. friends. Because obviously you felt that you can go to the media before you can come to me. And, and the I media is embarrassing. It's You're embarrassing yourself. Embarrassing. And then it's just like, that's when the whole like slender mm-hmm. thing, they just talk about you. Right. And I don't, that's one thing I don't do. I don't get on the internet, talk about nobody. Mm-hmm. If I have a problem with you, like, I'm going to go to you direct. And exactly. I feel like with friendships, if you have an issue about what they said or something that happened, you go directly to them mm-hmm. and you sit down like adults and you talk right. about it. But to continuously hold like secret animosity, cause like, like that's what it be. Be secret. for real. We're in college. Just be grown. Like that's what we came here to do. We're learning how to be adults. So just act like an adult. But there are certain people, certain friends in your life that's only in your life for a season. Right. And my mom told me they're either a lesson or they're a blessing. And I, uh, my freshman year, I was laying in the bed and I was scrolling on. Uh, Instagram and I think it was Ashanti. She was doing like this uh, um, interview thing on some type of little um, famous radio station, and she was like, you know, some people are only here for a season or a reason and stuff like that. And that ever since then, I look at stuff so differently now. Like that is so true. I did, definitely. I I don't know. It's just something about like you meet different people mm-hmm. in the seasons of your life. Okay, well, okay, well, (laughs) thank y'all for tuning in for our first episode, and hope to see you again. We'll see y'all soon. Thanks for listening to Erin and Out.